Hey there stinkers, Sean here, coming to deliver another bamboo jaw harp tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to play the Karinding Buhun. I have a few people who have ordered them recently and have been having some trouble playing and they're asking me for some demonstration of technique and so that's what I'm here to deliver. I guess we can start with a little background on the instrument. It is the traditional bamboo jaw harp of the Sundanese region which is in the Banten province of West Java, Indonesia. Um, it has very simple anatomy. You have on one end a handle running from that end to the opposite side. You have a border. The lower end of a reed, as you can see, comes through the frame. We'll surround it on either side. You have a counterweight in the middle and you have a striking end, which is referred to as the kanching or button. It's very similar to other harps that I may have used on the channel before, uh, although the playing method is a little bit different. Other harps that you may have seen have been strummed or plucked. Obviously you can produce a sound with this instrument using that technique, um, but traditionally you are actually hitting this model head on on the button with a, a powerful strike. First I would like to recommend that you get comfortable producing a sound before you try to play it. And the easiest way that I know how to explain that is to first get a good grip on the handle. Instruments you see like this will either have a very long handle or a short handle or some length in between. Surprise, surprise. I like to get my thumb all the way up against this border as far as I possibly can. If that helps you. Yeah, there we go. And that is going to serve as our strong hand. This is going to keep the instrument anchored when we're playing and not wobbly, um, which leaves this hand to be more of a tool or an instrument of finesse. So to begin, get your strong grip and get ready to strike the instrument. If you're at all familiar with electronic bass, the technique is very similar to slapping. And I say that because just like in slapping, um, you're using a powerful strike against the vibrating part of the instrument. On the bass, it's a string. Here, it's the reed. Um, but if you strike the instrument and leave your finger there, you're not going to get any sound out of it. So what you want to do is actually use that power and quickly remove your hand from the surface of the conching, um, either using your middle or index finger. I see people use them interchangeably. It's whatever is comfortable for you. And it'll sound something like this. So ideally you don't want to go through the instrument, either on the front or the back. Um, it's just straight on with the pad of your finger. Once you become comfortable producing that sound, um, I guess you're ready to start trying to play it. What I will recommend you do is you take the curve of your thumb and anchor it against your cheek right here. So it'll look like that. You'll close your hand around the handle and you are now holding the instrument against your face. Open mouth so that the thin portion of the reed is able to move in and out without striking either your lips or the corner of your mouth on either side. It'll look something like this. Pretty simple stuff. Once you get comfortable doing that, uh, you will want to close your lips lightly around the frame. Once you have completed a seal, that's about as good of a resonance you're going to get. There's no reason to go any tighter. When you're ready to get more serious, you've got your anchor. You got your thumb against your face. You got your open mouth, slowly closing your lips around the lower end of the reed. And once you form that seal, it's about as good as it's gonna get. And from there, it's more just a matter of changing the shape of your throat, moving your glottis up and down, uh, opening or widening the cavity of your mouth, manipulating the position of the tongue in your mouth, breathing in and out at intervals. One thing I like to recommend is people start with 
sort of sounding out their vowels and then creating that shape with the tongue, but not activating your vocal cord, not the tongue, the, uh, the throat, but not activating your vocal cords. So if I'm saying the letter A, 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 I'm still making the shape, but not the sound. I, 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 O, and so on and so forth. And that's really all there is to it. Once you get down how to produce a sound and you're comfortable with very basic play method, you can explore how to manipulate the sound and grow from there. Hopefully you found this short tutorial informative. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. I'll answer them as best as I am able. And until we cross paths again, take care and be well.